reached 10,000 subscribers. This is like an amazing moment for me. It's first time that I had so many subscribers with all my previous channels also. So it's it's so special. I love it. I thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Every every single one of you who who has subscribed to my channel. We I just started this channel like in February of this year. So to be at 10,000 in a little bit less than half a year was a great success for me. And I'm I'm like super thankful and it just gives me so much motivation to keep on pushing, to keep on doing the videos, even though I have a ton of other things to do, but I'm gonna keep doing this and keep pushing it until I can get it to a full-time two videos per week spread or something, okay? So yeah, I just asked you on Twitter to ask me some questions because I have a feeling we don't know each other very well, especially because there's some questions that are being very repetitive in, in the comments. For example, where I, where am I from? Uh, I'm not from Germany, I'm not from Ukraine, I'm from Slovenia. So if you take a map of Europe and you find Italy and you go a bit uh, north and eastern, you'll find a tiny little chicken-shaped country. That's where I am. <laughs> so yeah, now you know where Slovenia is and Slovenia is not the same as Slovakia, so please don't mix us up because we really don't like that. Apart from that, do I buy all the phones that I review? No, not even remotely. I would not have the budget to do that. I usually get it from PR agents. So now let's check out your questions on Twitter. What's your favorite smartwatch? It would definitely have to be the Pebble Time that I do not have with me today because um, I forgot it at home. But so far, it's still the Pebble Time. It's a little bit falling apart already. The plastic parts are a little bit falling apart after two years of use. It's still my favorite smartwatch. I've been looking for other watches. I've been looking for a solid replacement that, were, that would like really, really replace everything that I can do with this one. And so far, I haven't found one that I would like to look at that would have all the things that I wanted to have, all the possibilities that uh, everything that I could do with the Pebble, or that it would be of the appropriate budget. So when I find these three things meet, I'll let you know. <laughs> what do you think of the Galaxy Note 8? Um, it's a huge phone, not really something for me. But for anything else, I would just have to test the phone out. I really don't like to make the assumptions on specs or on reviews or on just like anything. When I get it in my hands, I want to be it's like almost like a blank slate and then to see how what kind of feelings does the phone evoke in me and how how is it with usability and how can I use it and how can I then go from there and expand from there. I don't really have many opinions. If you like big phones, then this is probably the phone to get this year. Um, which phone released this year is your favorite? Hmm, so far? I would probably have to say the Samsung S8. And I've said that a couple of times, like I really like their camera. I really like the speed of the phone. I really like the small bezels. So um, I'm not saying that the other flagships are not as good or I'm not saying that I'm not like really anxiously expecting the future releases of flagships, but so far this would be my favorite. Why haven't I switched yet? Because there's no budget. <laughs> That's the most common answer for me, you know, like if the phone is like really not giving me super amazing upgrades, I'm just not gonna switch, so. In that regard, um, I'm kind of a weird tech YouTuber. I don't really go for the newest, baddest, baddest, awesomest thing. I usually have a phone for a year and a half. What's your favorite sport that you follow? I don't really follow sports and I don't think I really have a favorite sport. <laughs> I'm not really a sports person, so... No, I like, I literally don't follow any sports, like even the sports that are completely crazy for Slovenians and that you always have to follow like skiing and ski jumps and everything connected to that. I'm just like, mm, not, not really into sports. I'm sorry, like at all. <laughs> I would rather watch or do anything else than watch sports. Um, but my favorite sport to do would probably have to be, I don't know, jumping fitness, aerobics, something like that. Something in groups, something with music, something that I can just get my mind off for that hour or so. How can you live with a very poor battery life on iPhone 7 and still use it as your primary device? I mean, yeah, it's not the best battery life, but it lasts me through the day. 
and I have wall plugs here as you can see and I have electricity in my car so if I ever need that I have cables everywhere and I just charge it but I usually don't need it it lasts me through the day and the phone just works and I use it because of that and I've made two or three videos on the topic of why I like iPhone right now and I why I prefer this phone right now and why I have it as my daily driver right now I'm not saying this is go not gonna change in a year or two or two months or three months or something um, but if you're interested in that you can check the videos up here and be informed why I choose Apple as my primary device. Who's your favorite YouTuber? That would probably be MKBHD just because he can make tech videos so interesting and he can make reviews so interesting and he can like spin it from a totally different point of view that you would never think of and that is just like blowing my mind not just the absolutely great cinematography and detailed sharp videos the way he scripts videos and what he puts in them and what kind of input and industry industry knowledge he packages in those videos is just amazing like i can watch one video of his and suddenly i have a feeling that i'm an expert on the whole mobile phone industry you know? so that is one thing that i really look up to him on how to create interesting videos and not just make a boring review hey this is a phone it has a screen it has a camera it has a battery it has a process processor um, it works it does this it does that like how to expand above that and how to do more if you are a manager at Apple instead of Tim Cook for a period of time what stuff will you do that's a good one like one thing that Apple is often criticized about is their working conditions but not just like for workers in the factories but also um, just general work climate in also the western part of their uh, companies and affiliates so if I would be manager at Apple for a period of time I would probably do something about that because I have a feeling that you can still do the best type of work for the least amount of money while keeping your people at least moderately happy they don't need to be jumping up and down or all, all smiley but like just basic human rights don't don't and not just like basic human rights also just basic human connections you know you don't have to I'm, I'm giving weird examples and they are not connected with Apple in any kind of way or in any kind of literal examples that I would read or know about it's just that I have a feeling that you can do so much more with people if you just treat them like people and not like objects need to be shouted at and that is also one of the reasons why I kind of can't stand having a normal kind of job because I can't really stand any kind of authority for the sake of it if you know what I mean I really need to collaborate with people and work with people and not be just a part of a big corporation that nobody cares about in that kind of way I'm a true millennial that needs to be seen and needs to be heard <laughs> so that's why I'm doing this you know <laughs> so yeah if I would be manager at Apple for a period of time I would definitely focus on making the people feel like people I'm not really an empathetic person but I think that is super important why are you so interested in Huawei products um, there's a simple explanation behind that and that is that I am in really good relationship with the PR agency that um, deals with Huawei products for Slovenia and that kind of brings me to the fact that I can get pretty much all the phones all their gadgets very soon when they are released and that's why I'm so interested in Huawei products and also they do really good on my channel I don't know if you have noticed but <laughs> Huawei videos are one of the mo my uh, most watched videos so of course I'm gonna do more of that um, and that, is, that was actually, yeah, the first reason. I am in really good relationship with their PR agency and I can do a lot of that. I'm not saying I'm not in good relationship with other PR agencies, but like the girls here really know what they're doing, you know, and they know how to motivate me to do more. So um, that's just how it goes. So thank you so much for your questions. If you would like to know anything more about me, um, you can usually ask me on Twitter. 
and I will collect them for another Q&A video if you think that that would be a possibility for us to do more of this, to get to know me, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, so thank you again for 10,000 subscribers, again, 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 I don't think I can thank you ever enough. Here's another video if you want to watch it and please subscribe to this channel. I can see that there's like 90% of you still not subscribed to this channel and if you want to see more of this face, it would be really good for you to subscribe. And with that said, I am saying goodbye and I will see you very, very soon. <laughs> Bye.